What's up, YouTube? This is Tura. I want to do a brief recap of the second game of tonight's uh, playoff uh, game, the second game played. Game four of the series between the San Antonio Spurs and Denver Nuggets, which was held in San Antonio. And, of course, coming into this game, the Spurs had a two games and one lead. And the Spurs were looking to go up three games to one. Denver, of course, was looking to tie the series at two piece. And um, early on, it looked like the Spurs were headed toward an easy game four victory, which would gave them a commanding three games and one lead. All right. And early on, it looked like that was going to happen. The Spurs were running their offense to perfection, and Denver was struggling a bit offensively. But what happened is that. Eventually, Denver began to play better. Uh, Denver uh, started playing a lot better defensively. And um, sometimes defense is contagious. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, when one guy's playing hard, you know what I'm saying, that encourages everybody else on the team to step up and play better. And that guy would be Toy Craig. All right? Toy Craig was a game-time decision by head coach Mike Malone. Um, Willie Barton, who had been struggling throughout this series, was benched uh, in place uh, of, of Toy Craig. And Toy Craig had a great game. Um, he shot very well from downtown. I think it was 5 of 7 from three-point range. Overall, the Denver Nuggets shot uh, exceptionally well from three-point range. There were 15 of 31 from beyond the arc. And in the era of today, the NBA era, it's all about the three-point shot. And when you got one team shooting that well from downtown while the Spurs struggled at 5 or 17, generally speaking, um, that team's going to win. I remember back in the day, what you tended to look at to determine whether a team won, like when I was growing up, you usually looked at the – it was – games were decided in the trenches back then, you know. Um, yeah, you had your tremendous perimeter players, but often not – often more times than not, games were decided in the trenches. You would look at – just to get an idea, like if you didn't watch the game, you just look at stats. You would look at who won the rebounding battle, and you would look at uh, points in the paint. And generally speaking, if one team had a lot more points in the paint than the other one and they won the, had a decisive edge in rebounding, generally speaking, that team won the game. Um, when you look at this game, San Antonio actually had a slight edge in rebounding, 46 to 45, and San Antonio had a considerable edge in the points in the paint, 60 to 40. All right? Um and look who won by 14. That's the how that's the difference in today's era as opposed to the era when I was growing up. And it's because people just shoot the three pointers so much so so much now. Um but Denver uh slowly chipped into that lead and uh the early Spurs lead took the lead some time in the third quarter and eventually expanded to a double digit lead of their own. And a lot of it had to do, like I said, with them just playing. They just played so much better offensively. If you watch the game, Denver just got clearer. Not clearer, but was where I want to look at. They got cleaner looks for baskets, while the Spurs had to work a little bit harder to get their shots off. And there was a lot of missed execution on offense for the Spurs. A lot of missed easy layups and jumpers. Um, some Some easy missed open three-point attempts. And speaking of uh, Toy Craig, Toy Craig was very effective defensively on uh, DeMar DeRozan to the point where DeMar DeRozan got ejected from the game because of uh, he didn't get a, a call that he thought should have went his way. He fired the ball in the direction of the referee. He got ejected. And um, Toy Craig also helped to hold uh, Derek White, who was the hero of Game 3, scoring 36 points, 
he held Derek White or helped to hold Derek White to only eight points uh, tonight. So that just goes to show you um, the difference in the game tonight. Um, this is the first time that Denver beat San Antonio uh, at San Antonio since 2012, I saw. And I'll tell you how long ago that was. Ty Lawson was playing for the Denver Nuggets. Ty Lawson doesn't even play in the NBA anymore. He hasn't played in the league in some, some seasons. Um, Rudy Gay only had two points. Uh, Patty Mills had success earlier on when we had two consecutive, like, or close to two consecutive uh, three-point plays. Um Marcus Aldridge had 24 points and nine rebounds, but didn't play much in the fourth quarter. Greg Popovich pretty much conceded the game to the Denver Nuggets. And for the new, I was going to say the New Jersey Nuggets, Jesus Christ. <laughs> for the Brooklyn, what am I saying? I got Brooklyn on the brain. For the Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets, Nikola Jokic, a.k.a. the Joker. <laughs> Way to get a load of him. 29 points, 12 rebounds, 8 assists, close to a triple-double. Jamal, Jamal Murray, 24 points to go along with 6 assists. And um, Willie Barton, coming off the bench, had 12 points. And uh, Toy Craig had 18 points, like I said, in 5 or 7 from 3-point range. And um, the Denver Nuggets looked like the Denver Nuggets from the regular season. The Denver Nuggets that had won 54 games during the regular season, second best record in the Western Conference. The Denver Nuggets, I mean, look, they had the second best record in the Western Conference. And for a while, they had the best record in the Western Conference. And talent-wise, they are better than the San Antonio Spurs. And the Spurs, um, we have to remember that this is one of the lesser talented Spurs teams in the Greg Popovich era. And they have been uneven this season, you know. Um, sometimes they kind of looked like they were turning the corner. And then sometimes they looked like an average team. If I'm not mistaken, there was a time this season where they were out of the playoffs. So, you know, I you know I I, I had the Spurs winning this thing. The Spurs can still win this series, but Denver might be turning a corner. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think playoff experience matters. But some guys have shorter learning curves than other other guys. You know what I mean? Um, you have to think, you have to think, okay, with the series tied at 2-2 going into Denver, You know, will Denver have that, I guess, quote unquote, killer instinct and try to win a pivotal game five against the Spurs? You know what I'm saying? Because they show that they're capable of beating them at San Antonio. Um, they got their monkey off their back. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw that Denver had lost 15 consecutive games at San Antonio before tonight, including the playoffs, if they play each other in the playoffs. Um, so there's that, or can San Antonio come back and win at Denver and then maybe conceivably wrap things up at San Antonio in game six? We'll see. You know what I'm saying? If I had to go out on a limb, I might've been wrong in my prediction, but it's so close. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't know which Denver team's going to show up on any given night. And also, all it takes is a bad shooting night in today's NBA, man. I mean, we can talk about all these other different variables, but if you aren't making your three-pointers with the volume of three-pointers that these guys take now in today's NBA, 
if you're struggling from three-point range, if you take 35 threes and you only make six or seven, and then another team makes, you know, 17 out of 40, most likely than not, that team that makes 17 three-pointers, that's 54 points right there just from threes alone, they're going to win the game. So, like I said, you know, the NBA is a lot different from when I was growing up. So tell me what you guys think, okay?